Good morning, students. Well, today is Wednesday, and today's color is, yep, you guessed it, purple. So, uh, today we're praying for pastors, and that qualifies me. Yay! So, thank you in advance for your prayers. I went to visit a doctor here in Maryland. The doctor asked me what I did for a living, and so I told him that I was a pastor. And he paused and said, oh, so you're a spiritual doctor. I guess I've never thought about it that way before. Um, and so I want to read a Bible verse to you. Be careful for yourselves and for all the people God has given you. The Holy Spirit gave you the work of caring for this flock. You must be like shepherds to the church of God. This is the church that God bought with his own death. Did you catch that? Uh, being a pastor is not easy, uh, but we have the greatest example in the Bible when we see the ministry of Jesus. Because you might ask yourself, okay, so who's the pastor for the pastors? Well, my answer to you would be Jesus himself, uh, God. Uh, so he is our pastor. And even though we have uh, counsel here on earth and um, in, in leaders, uh, we have to keep our eyes on Jesus. And I guess in essence, we are your spiritual doctors. Uh, and uh, the greatest example we get is Jesus, like the verse says, because when he went to the cross and shed his own blood, uh, that just claimed all victory for us. We definitely need your prayers. And I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hopefully soon we'll be able to uh, meet each other once again at school. God bless you. This is Pastor Tap from Sligo Church. Hope you're doing well, especially because you're locked inside and not able to go to school because of the coronavirus and know that we're praying for you. But I heard from Pastor Hazel that you guys are praying for the pastors today on Wednesday. Man, when I heard that, I really, really got excited because as pastors, we're always praying for people. Every day, people are asking us, Pastor, can you pray for me? Pastor, can you pray for me? But to know that you guys are taking time to pray for us. Wow, that really, really means a lot. And know that we're always praying for you. But to know that you're praying for us today, especially in our families, that really makes us feel good. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to be with you. May God continue to protect you. And never forget that God loves you, and so do we. God bless you. Bye-bye. Pastor Job, and how are you doing today? Hi, good morning, boys and girls. Welcome one more time. Oh, are you somebody behind me? Yes. Hi, how are you? Hi, my name is Cecia. I'm your new neighbor. Oh, hi, Cecia. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name is Pastor Job. How I are you? Question. Yes. What's a pastor? Oh, good question. What is a pastor? A pastor is a person, when you go to church, they uh, talk with the congregation, they preach and teach the Word of God, and also they visit the people when they're sick. Maybe you can come and visit us in our church. Then right now, we're talking with our, ch with our ki children, the Tacoma Academy Prep, and I want to read what the, pa what the Bible said about it. In Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, the Bible said, And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So, mostly the word of pastor is too, is teaching about the word of God. So, kids, we're very thankful for your prayers as a pastor. So, this week, we in our week of prayer, we pray for our pastor. They do different and serving in different churches around our area. Good morning, TA Prep Tigers. It is very good to see you, even though I can't really see you. I hope you're having a good time where you are. I'm Pastor John Nixon from the Tacoma Park Church, and... I am here to say thank you, thank you, thank you for praying for the pastors on Wednesday. We really need your prayers. This is a really tough time for everybody because our routines have changed. We can't see each other face to face for a while and we're all trying to stay safe from this coronavirus. So I'm praying for you too that you're staying safe during this time and that you're not bored while you're at home. But here's what I believe though. I believe in the power of prayer, and I believe that God listens especially to the prayers of children. And so I want to thank you, all of you children who have decided that you're going to pray for us, the pastors, during this time. Thank you for doing that for us this Wednesday. So keep praying every day that God will keep us safe, and we'll be praying for you, too. And stay encouraged that things will get better soon, and that we'll be able to be face-to-face -face again very soon. God bless you, and we'll see you soon. 
kids today i'm gonna buy our friend fabi to pray with us for this day as we pray for our pastors let's pray in reverence to god dear heavenly father thank you so much for this wonderful day and we pray lord for our pastors and for our congregations thank you lord for you sent us to teach your word and helping us lord to do your will every day and we're waiting for you lord for your second coming in jesus name we pray amen Thank you and God bless you guys. Bye, Fabi. Have a good day.